There are millions of us every day who report to work without concern over our safety. But for those who work in high-risk environments, safety is critical. People who perform high-risk activities must have the skills to do the job safely because everyone deserves to return home at the end of the day. Driving is the greatest hazard that workers face. Uh, drivers are in their vehicles every day, whether they move materials, equipment, people from project to project. Driving unfortunately results, and the motor vehicle incidents that occur from them, result in the highest number of fatalities to the workforce. When it comes to other types of fatalities on that topic, being struck by equipment, materials, moving machinery, tools, falling objects, typically result again in a high fatality number, unfortunately. We can't forget about falls falls are hazards from working at heights, and the resultant falls are also a high cause of fatalities. Here in Ontario, three major safety associations merged to create the Infrastructure Health and Safety Association, bringing decades of expertise from each industry under one name. These three organizations were health and safety pioneers. When they came together as IHSA, they became the leading developer and provider of prevention solutions for work environments involving high-risk activities. Our mandate since 1915 is to develop and deliver safety education. And today, that means working and delivering that safety education to 122,000 member firms of the Workplace Safety and Insurance Board. Believe it or not, 50% of the workforce who were uh, working in Ontario in 1915 died every year. Uh, building distribution systems because everyone wanted power and uh, our first organization, the Electrical and Utility Safety Association, was formed in 1915 to try to rectify uh, that devastating record. Today they're the safest high-risk sector in North America, the electrical utility sector. Legislation's effective if, if it's followed up with standards and uh, just recently we've uh, developed a standard for working at heights, a standardized curriculum and that also lends itself to uh, provide the ability to evaluate the effectiveness of your training. If you can look back to the standard and the learning outcomes, uh, that, that really does make a big difference. I work in the power line industry. I'm a journeyman power line technician. I build and maintain power lines throughout the country. The training that I've received here is, it's not all about just sitting in a classroom and writing stuff down on paper. You actually get to go outside and put your knowledge to the test and perform the task at hand. I believe my performance is a lot safer and a lot more professional after receiving the training, so it makes a better lineman. With IHSA, you learn how to be effective and efficient while also being safe. You learn how to embed safe work practices into the tasks you already do. Safety is not an add-on. Taking safety education to the next level is really facilitated through measurement and evaluation. And that methodology isn't new. It's just a matter of doing it, committing to doing it. Six months after you deliver a program, you go out on the job to make sure that the skills you've taught six months earlier are being applied. And that's very important with high-risk work in construction, transportation, and certainly in electrical utilities. With more than 115 different programs developed and delivered by industry experts, IHSA is the leading organization for high-risk health and safety education. IHSA has been a vocal proponent of developing health and safety training standards at the government level. This type of policy change impacts so many lives. We've been working from a, a self-developed standard for many years, and certainly standards uh, raise the bar. The Working at Heights standard will allow us to better align our curriculum and our delivery and our evaluation around that standardized approach. All IHSA program developers and trainers are experts in their field with substantial experience in their industry and in adult education. IHSA also approves external trainers to deliver their gold standard programs. We have a thorough process that allows us to ensure that the, the party, the training provider, will comply and will have the subject matter expertise to deliver the programs as intended. We want to ensure that that delivery of the program is no different than our own delivery of the program. So essentially, a company doing so in a training provider agreement with us is an extension of IHSA itself. 
I started in the utility industry 25 years ago, a little over 25 years ago, as a lineman apprentice. Our subject matter experts bring with them a wealth of knowledge and experience based on their years in the trade. We pride ourselves on our skills-based work method training, continuous education. I believe that uh, the trainers, the individuals that are here training with Infrastructure Health and Safety Association share the passion for training and want to give back to the industry. When you train with IHSA, you know that you are getting comprehensive, up-to-date information from industry leaders and you can be sure that you are legally compliant with provincial health and safety regulations and standards. Work safe for life. Call or go online to learn more or to register for one of IHSA's training courses.